Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at constructing your online course. Now, so far up to this point we have certain different elements within your course and now we want to start putting it together and really building it out. These are some ideas to keep in mind while you're doing that. You want to make sure that your uh, course is as intuitive as possible, meaning that students can pretty much figure out where to go and find the necessarily necessary items that they need. You want to make sure that your course is also consistent. So each module should look the same. You should have, you know, your course objectives at the top and then maybe your to-do list. However you want to organize it, you want it to be consistent throughout. You want to make it as efficient as possible. That is, you want to minimize the amount of clicks. I say two to three clicks is about as far out as you want for students to find information. You should make your course as visually appealing as possible. I always try to add as many graphic elements that um, are appealing without uh, being overwhelming. Uh, just having something that's totally text-based might, it's not engaging and it's a, it looks um, less appealing. And then of course, I try to have elements also that are interactive and have the students actually trying to do something while they're within the course. So how do you want to organize your course? I gave you a template in the last module, which you may use if you want, and you start thinking about it. I keep calling my courses modules. Um, you might want to use units or you want to go weekly. It's really up to what your course is about and how you want to present it. So here are just some examples that I have from other people's courses and how they have organized their work. There's uh, some professors, they like to put them totally in a weekly by date format. Or I have some professors that like to have a weekly schedule, but they don't have it on the front homepage. So you would have to actually click into the weekly schedule to see all of it. I do that too because I just try to reduce clutter, but again, it's up to you. Uh, some professors like to use units instead. And uh, there's also the idea where you're going to have different projects and they're due at different times. And you have that kind of organized differently. It's whatever is working for your course, whatever you feel matches the flow best and then you just start setting it up. Now, of course, we've looked at learning objectives and we've looked at backwards design. So you should have an idea of what your course objectives are and at least a few module objectives, hopefully. This is gonna help you uh, create your course structure. So once you determine um, what works best for your curriculum, you're going to set it up. Is it weekly, is it module, etc. You map it out and then you start uploading your materials into whatever criteria you're using. I'm uploading my materials into module one or I'm uploading my materials into unit one, etc. You can use mind mapping tools. I do have a link in this module to help you with that. Or again, you can use the uh, template that I gave you or you can come up with something else that works for you. And then once you start putting it together, how does your course look? Have other people review it and see how they feel about the course navigation. It gives you a fresh eye. Of course, use the QM rubric to self-assess your own course to see how it's flowing. And then it's a good idea to go and use the student view in Blackboard to see how students are going to view and interact with your course. So I hope this gives you a few ideas on putting together and structuring your entire course. Thank you.